you know, I love this shelf. But come to think of it, when was the last time I actually bought a GPU? I think it was, I think it was during the last Scrapyard Wars. You know, maybe it's finally time to expand the collection. You know, I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get caught up on street pricing here and get some new GPUs. Wait, I'm sorry, what? 1080s are going for 850 to 1150 bucks? 1070 Ti is at 730 to 975. Vega 56s for just under to over a thousand dollars. Holy crap! I mean, there are cards out there going for almost a thousand Canadian rubles that we declared not a great value at about half of that when they were released. Whew. So thankfully, I don't actually need a GPU that badly. That whole thing was just a setup for this video. Well, no sh But there are a lot of folks out there who do. So for you, we compiled a few tips and tricks to help you try and get a decent deal so you can get your game on. Speaking of a decent deal, iFixit. iFixit's Pro Tech Toolkit gives you the tools you need to tackle any electronics repair challenge. Visit ifixit.com slash Linus at the link below and get yours today. So this video is gonna be a little bit different from our standard fare. No performance graphs, no sexy B-roll. I probably won't even drop anything, except some mad truths. We'll start our journey at the local level. This is Memory Express, whose website even has a special notice on it about a GPU and power supply shortage. Because believe it or not, retailers have been frustrated by the lack of supply too. With that said, it's not all bad news. There's a very recent update on their site about restrictions being lifted on graphics card purchases, so there may be some light at the end of the tunnel, if that's any indication. And did anyone actually realize that there was an ongoing power supply shortage? Anyway, this still doesn't tell us when prices will actually stabilize. So if you don't wanna wait weeks, or potentially even months to upgrade your potato for a game of Fortnite, we may need some other options. So if nothing else, by looking at retail pricing, we can get a baseline for what to look for. Uh, when we compare the launch price with the lowest price available on PC Part Picker, we see a couple of obvious patterns here. The most expensive GPUs have the biggest markup, which we might expect, but we also see something peculiar. The GeForce GTX 1080 is by far the closest to its MSRP. And I'd even go as far as to say, if you can find one at about this pricing, go ahead and buy retail if you can. Another while you can tip, by the way, is that sometimes vendors will sell directly at MSRP. Take Nvidia, for example, where you can buy Founders Edition cards for way less as long as you are diligently monitoring their site and you're quick on the draw. Next, we've got used sites like Craigslist, which are currently overflowing with secondhand GPUs and prices are trending downward overall. Which, you know what, let me see that thing. Actually, forget it. This is ridiculous. You can get deals now, yeah, but scalpers like this are all over the place, often asking close to or even more than retail for never used or lightly used cards. So just make sure you keep your BS detectors cranked to 11 until this blows over. But if buying directly at retail is expensive and current gen used cards are going to be a minefield for a while, what else can we do? Well, some retailers are actually offering combo deals with steep discounts for graphics cards that are usually bundled with some other component that gamers would want, like a headset, a high-end CPU, or motherboard, that kind of thing. And while our luck at Newegg today wasn't great with just 
10 to $20 savings being typical, some vendors like Micro Center are doing in-store only discounts with limited quantities available. With that said though, maybe we're barking up the wrong tree. Maybe what we want isn't a specific graphics card, but rather a specific performance level. And I think I know how we can achieve that. We're gonna go where the miners aren't going. We know that the GTX 1080 is in most cases about 25% faster than the previous generation 980 Ti. However, if we look at the price for the 980 Ti somewhere like eBay, it's cheaper than even the cheapest 1070. I mean, and compared to the 1080, I'm talking like just over half the price and the HBM equipped Fury X can be had for a similar price too, as long as four gigs is enough VRAM for you and you have the power supply to run it. And so, you know, moving down in the pricing tiers a little bit, if you were after an RX 580 or 570, the performance difference between the 480 and 470 is so minimal that the price difference here makes that a no brainer as well. And depending on your needs, you can even go further back like a Maxwell Titan X or Titan Black, or even as far back as a GTX 680 or Radeon HD 7970, if your goal is 1080p gaming. Those things are around 100 bucks today, about half that of a 1050 Ti with slightly better performance. Do note though that older high-end cards like the Fury will draw more power and lack new features like HDMI 2.0, HEVC, HDR, and they have no hope of playing back content protected by PlayReady 3.0 DRM. And you also don't get a warranty when you do this. Well, not usually anyway. So buyer beware there. But games don't stop to wait for GPU prices to drop. And if you need the horsepower, this seems to be the best way to go until the whole industry regains its senses. Unplug and play, what does that even mean? I'll tell you. It's Corsair's lineup of wireless gaming peripherals, including their dark core RGBSE mouse, which features one millisecond, 2.4 gigahertz, and low latency Bluetooth connectivity, their K63 wireless gaming keyboard with the same low latency connection options and Cherry MX red switches with a blue backlight, and their MM1000, which is a wireless charging mouse pad, though it should be noted that the wireless charging version of the mouse will work with any Qi wireless charging pad, not just theirs, which is pretty cool. And you can check out the whole lineup at the links below. Oh, I made it. So thanks for watching guys. If this video sucked, you know what to do, but if it was awesome, get subscribed, hit that like button, or maybe check out where to buy the stuff we featured on eBay, I guess, at the link in the video description. Also linked down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one and our community forum, which you should totally join.